Hey, okay, so, yeah, um, I was on, um, on a chat, and we were talking about, um, black fathers and whatnot. Now listen to me, I have a very great, 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 I have a very wonderful father, and he's done everything for me, let me turn this down. I don't know how to pause it. Um, and he's never risen his voice to me, never spanked me, always been there for me, like, on the call. Like, uh, as soon as I call him, he's there. Like, he's a superhero to me. You know, I could never be wrong to him because he taught me right. So... Uh, we were just talking about, you know, how, I don't know, how certain people are getting raised nowadays. Because I'm like, no, your father should be cherished. You know, I had my father, I like, I was raised by my father. Not even by my father, but by stepfathers. I've had stepfathers. Like I said, my mom's been married many a times. They've never raised a hand to... They've never came at me wrong. They've only showed me enjoyment, you know? They love my mother to the fullest, you know? I've never been disrespected by them. If anything, if they were unhappy with the way I did things, they would talk to my mother, and my mother would relay that message, which she would. <laughs> mother my mother is a trip okay my mother is cool as hell but she's okay but um yeah I've only been like um treated as their own let's say my stepfathers have been treated as their own so let's see my first stepfather um he was really, really cool. Uh, well, he wasn't cool. He was actually boring. Because <laughs> he was quiet. But he took care of business. He was a doctor. Um, then there was the other one. Um, oh, no. Let's talk about the racy one. The racy one. He had, like kids and oh man one of his children Ugh. and she was my favorite one because I was overprotective over her because she cried all the time and I felt her pain and emotions but after a while I was like you are annoying the hell out of me real quick but you know I didn't tell her that but she was scared of everything. She was scared of birds. She was scared of guns popping. She was scared of... I, she was scared of everything. So they'd be like, oh, take her out. And she would cry all the time. So then she would come like, you know, run into my bed and say she had a nightmare. I'm like, what is haunting you? So we did a seance. <laughs> This is my sister and I <laughs> calling out the help, um, enchanting our grandma because the grandma used to pray over us before sleep. And so we did the same things grandma would, would do, you know, put the little oil over her forehead, put the Bible under her bed. She slept soundly. I was like, this shit works. And I'm like, I don't like doing magic, but it works. I said, Lord Jesus, thank you, God, because this girl would not stop. I couldn't wait for her to go back home, but I didn't want to wish her away because I, will, I love her so much because she's so, she's so, oh my God, she's so lovable. And then I'm, because she would just do like the weirdest things. And then I'm like, I like that. I like that she did the weirdest things, like she would just, I don't know where, stop. 
And I'm like, um, she's not following us anymore. Where is she? I thought she was scared of stuff. And she was just stop and pick a flower and be like, I got this for you, Gigi. Or I blew this big old bubble for you, Gigi. Or I made this balloon for you, Gigi. And I'm like, this kid, uh, this is my little sister and I love her so much. Where you at, girl? Holla.